Mesut Özil is quitting the German national team over the response to his photograph with the Turkish president and says his sponsors bear some of the blame. Now, Özil's announcement on Twitter had an entire section devoted just to sponsors. This is the recent Mercedes campaign uh, featuring him. They are a major sponsor of the German national team. But in his open letter, Özil accused an unnamed sponsor of dropping him from their promotions and seemed to bring up Dieselgate. He said, okay, let's read out what you said. He said, for them, it was no longer good to be seen with me and call the situation crisis management. This is all ironic because a German ministry declared their products have illegal and unauthorized software devices in them. Am I right in thinking this is worse than a picture with the president of my family's country? As I said before, partners should stick with you in all situations. The company is Mercedes, Mercedes-Benz, and he says the company is looking into the claims. But at the same time, Ozil praises other sponsors for being loyal. Today, Adidas said it regrets that he's quitting the German team. This is a strange story, the size and range that he would quit in such a way over a picture of him with, the, uh, with uh, uh, President Erdogan and then lambast in such a way. Kevin Kelly is co-president of the Big Buzz Marketing Group and joins me now. Um, it, it is a strange story, this isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, the reason why he's gone... The decision just to up sticks in such a way. It's, it's, it's just disappointing in, uh, in the brands, isn't it? You know, I think that it's so often they fall into a crisis management posture, right? It, it really is an opportunity for them to show their colors, um, stick to their values. And the problem with so many brands is they don't really know where their values lie. They're following the money and most of their actions right. are, are dictated. So let's go through this bit by bit. First of all, the, pr the picture of him with the president, Erdogan, which is his family, which, you know, he, he, I mean, it's an honor country. to meet a president of a country anyway. Whatever one may think of his politics, exactly. he's still he's the president of, of Turkey. But what happens after that is that he's complaining he didn't get support from his sponsors. What was he hoping for? I think he was hoping for some loyalty, right? So I think that uh, what we've seen from from Adidas and from his other brands that have stuck by him is what you want to see. They, if they've done their due diligence, know who he is, right? And, and you know, these athletes are passionate, right? So, so they will stick to their values. It was nice to see that he did. And he made a choice that was, uh, I'm sure, a very difficult one. I can't help feeling again with this one. It's, a, it's a, such at the lower end of anything that's gone wrong. That the, right. that the you know, all he has Absolutely. is a picture with the president of a country that, you know... He didn't sleep with the wrong know, person? Yeah, right. he didn't sleep with the wrong person. There's no scandal involved. He's got a picture of himself with the president of a country that his family comes from. And out of this, so what, from the sponsor's point of view, if you're Mercedes, what are you thinking tonight? Oh, I, I'm, I'm rethinking if I'm Mercedes, right? I'm thinking that uh, something we talk about in our business all the time is, is courage and creativity. They've shown no courage. So they need to find a way to reevaluate and show some courage and find a way to support him. But what does support him mean? And this, is what I'm, this is what I'm having difficulty understanding. What, I mean, excuse me. There's a lot of criticism for, for this picture, but what does support him mean? Coming out and making a statement? Putting out a press release? I think out the greatest the thing they could do in all these situations, what we've done is we fail to look at the details, right? We react to something that looks seemingly offensive, right? But the, the reality was it's his home country. It's something he felt strongly about to support his family. So if I'm Mercedes, I'm going to say, let me look deeper into what he's doing and support those things. We see Education, this... child support, right? right. Uh, um, uh, paying for life-changing, what was the quote? Life-changing surgeries for kids in Russia. But we see this in this country with the NFL, the, mm. the kneeling and the whole question of sponsors for... I mean, Great example. We can, we can be blinkered mm. and say sport and politics and sport and controversy should not mix, but that is just naive. It is, right? Uh, what, what pays for that uh, football game to be on the uh, NFL television, NBC, and all these networks, right? These players are so passionate. you got to understand, right, this person earned his way onto the field, he earned his way onto the team, and he's earned his way onto all of your screens. So uh, one guy said, hey, I have an opportunity to have my voice heard. And I would say also that 
Not one person who raised their fist or kneeled down on the field ever meant any disrespect to the military. I think it, um, again, it's a matter of we haven't taken time to uh, look at the details of the situation. Good to see you, sir. Thanks Thank so you much. I appreciate My it. pleasure.